Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite drills that really helped me with my serve transformation and that is learning how to throw a ball and how when you master that throw in action it really helps you transform your serve into a real weapon. Hey everyone, James here from the OTI coaching team. I hope you're all doing very well. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Wales, which is, we don't get that too often, so I had to make the most of it and come out on court today and film some videos. And today I want to talk about the serve, and I'm going to talk about a drill that actually really helped me um, when I was learning the serve. A few years ago I had the problem where I would break the shoulder and elbow alignment. Ideally, we want to get into a position where you have a straight line between the shoulders and the elbow, just like so. But my problem was my elbow is too far forward in this position, and that hindered my ability to get into a sufficient racket drop on the serve. So with that, I worked with uh, Greg and Nadim Munich. This was probably up to three years ago, maybe, maybe three or four years ago. And what they had me do was they taught me how to throw a ball correctly. Now this is extremely beneficial if you just learn how to throw a ball. It really helped me tremendously on the serve. So I'm gonna throw a few balls here and then I'll go into more detail on what we should be looking for. But I'll just demonstrate one or two real quick. So right here, nice and relaxed. Do another one. Okay, so that's basically the drill that we're gonna be doing today, learning how to throw. Now that you've seen it, I'm gonna go into some details on what we wanna look out for. The first thing that we'll do, so if you grab a ball, if you're doing this drill right now, grab a ball, start in a nice relaxed position. Imagine you're, that you're setting up your feet that you'll be serving on the baseline. I'm gonna go from the side angle here so you can see a little bit more clearly what I'm gonna do. Now from this position, my arms are nice and relaxed and they're low in this position just like so. Now from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the weight to the back leg and when I do this I'm turning my upper body and shoulders away from the target. This is the key factor here in order for me to get into the straight alignment with the elbow just like so. So take a look at this from the back angle. I transfer the weight to the back leg. As I do this I turn my upper body away from the target just like so. And then when I'm in this position I simply raise the elbow and the toss and arm. Now, as you can see, just by raising the elbow, I'm now in this position where I have a straight line between the shoulders and the elbow. Elbow is approximately just below shoulder level, and I have a double bend in the hitting arm. So just do that with me. Turn away, transfer the weight to the back leg, transfer, turn away, raise the elbow. And now I'm in this fully coiled throwing position, just like so. Now from here, I'm going to imagine that I got the racket in the hand. I'll initiate what we call the right to left motion. So I'll bend from the elbow, a very good analogy to have in mind is it's like you're saluting, like the soldiers do in the army. Just imagine that you're doing that movement. So from here, I bend from the elbow, begin the right to left movement. As the ball passes my ear, I'll bring the elbow forward and lead, and then I'll throw the ball. And I ensure also that I keep my toss and arm tucked into the body for this drill. So one more time, go through it, transfer the weight to the back leg. I turn away, raise the elbow, bend from the elbow to initiate the right to left, lead, throw, keep the toss and arm tucked in and hold the finish. And that's basically the basis of a good throw. Now the other key part about this is when you're doing it, when you're bending from the elbow to initiate the right to left, just really ensure that the knuckles remain pointing to the sky, ball pointing down towards the ground. That's another very important factor when you're doing this drill. So now let's get on to throwing some balls. This is what you've came for. Now when you are throwing a ball, just be aware that a lot of players, when they first trying to do this, they're trying to throw the ball very far. And that's a mistake, we don't wanna do that. Instead, we wanna focus more on the trajectory of the ball. We wanna be throwing the ball as high as we can. Why? That's then gonna replicate the up and out swing on the serve. Tennis is an up game. So when you're throwing the ball, really focus on throwing as high as you can, as opposed to how far as you can. So I'll do three or four here with you. Get some balls, nice and relaxed. Just throw this one back here for a second. So just going through that motion as we just did, I transfer the weight to the back leg, I turn away, raise the elbow, bend and throw. Hold the finish. And again, turn away and throw. And again, turn away and throw. And I'm really focusing on throwing as high as I can, getting a good shape on the ball. When you're doing this, you can stop in this position just to ensure that you have that straight line between the shoulders and elbow, if that's easier for you. Turn away and throw. 
So let's imagine that you just completed 10 or 15 repetitions of just throwing a ball. Once that starts to feel somewhat natural for you and you feel you're getting the mechanics down, getting into a good position here with the elbow, with that alignment, and it all feels good, then of course you can start to add the racket into play. But when you do this, I want you to move through a very important rotation that I went through. What I mean is you'll start by doing two throws without the racket, and then you'll do two with the racket. But when you add the racket, you make a conscious effort on just replicating that throw, regardless of where the ball goes. So I'm gonna start by serving down the line, and I'm gonna do two throws, and then I'll add the racket into play. So let's see some here, nice and relaxed. Turn away, and throw. Really focusing on throwing as high as I can. Getting that good trajectory. See another one, just like so, hold the finish. That feels good. Now I add the racket into play, get two balls, and make a conscious effort on replicating that throw. And I'm gonna serve down the line for this. So just imagine that I'm throwing. Do another one, nice and relaxed. Just serving down the line. And then what you can do is you can continue to go through that rotation. So then you pick up two balls again, throw the ball, two times, pick up the racket, do the same thing, and continue to go through that rotation. Then, once that starts to feel natural, of course, what we all wanna do, we wanna serve into the service box. So now you can do the same thing. I'll demonstrate one right here. So you grab two balls again, throwing it in the direction of the service box. Really make sure that when you do do this, don't fall into the trap of throwing the body around and over-rotating. Make sure that you keep the toss and arm tucked into the body as you complete the throw. So let's see two here. Turn away, throw the ball. See how my torso and arm has remained tucked in, preventing me from opening up. Turn away and throw, just like so. And now I'll add the racket into play, just like what we did when we was doing it down the line. I make a conscious effort on just replicating that throw in action with the racket. So let's see two here. Now serving into the service box. Nice and relaxed. Okay, let's see another one. Just like so. And yeah, that's the basis for this drill. So today we learned how to throw a ball. That really helped me personally with that shoulder and elbow alignment. And it's really gonna help you if you have to work, for example, on just the right to left. It's a great drill to do very effective. So give it a try, let me know if it helps you, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. The serve is of course the most important shot in tennis, and because so many players struggle with it, we now started offering one day serve clinics, and these serve clinics will break down your serve with video analysis and show you exactly what elements need to be fixed so that you can hit powerful serves. So if you're interested in finally developing a powerful serve with one of our serve clinics, click the link inside this video right now for all the details on upcoming serve clinics.